Hey makers, this is Truveen and I'm happy to announce that I have started my paid power automate training program from this Saturday. From 5th April 2025, I am starting my new power automate weekend batch. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about that what I'm going to teach you in throughout this training program and what are the key gateways you are getting from my overall training program. So let's get started. But let's say for an example, if you are not looking for any paid training program, you can just skip this video and watch my other videos available on my YouTube channel. But if you wanted to know more about this training, absolutely this will be more beneficial for you. So first of all, let me just talk about the overall course content which I am going to talk about. So we are going to start our journey basically with the different type of cloud flow and the different kind of use cases of the Power Automate throughout the first weekend. So we will take an overall idea about that what exactly the Power Automate is in industry. What are the use cases around that? In which scenario you should use Power Automate? Let's say for an example, you come across with any kind of requirement, whether it will fit into the Power Automate or not, how you can decide that. All of those things will be covered into the first weekend. Also, entire training program is in the weekend. But again, in the weekend, sometimes five hours you need to connect. But again, it's not like a continuous five hours. In between that, we will give you five minute, 10 minute break as well. So you can just get a freshen up for yourself. Okay. Apart from that, into this particular training program, if you don't have any Office 365 account, we are going to provide our account for the practice as well, which you can use it throughout this particular training program. Also, we will offer you all the recordings that we are going to do uh, into this live training program. After the training program, we will provide you so that you can uh, revisit those recordings and you can just practice around that as well. So you don't need to constantly take lots of notes during the live classes itself. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, once we talk about the basics of the Power Automate and start creating the first flow and all, we will be going to talk about some more basic concept which is must required to understand any kind of Power Automate flow. So we'll talk about the different kind of looping concept, what are the commonly used action, what are the different kind of JSON parsing, what is error handling, how to do write an expression, how we can create the complex flow, all of those concepts we'll talk about here. Overall, in this training program, we are going to talk about the, all the popular data sources as well because Power Automate works smoothly with all the data sources, but sometimes with SharePoint and Dataverse, these are the two data sources which are highly being used. And for that, we will also cover up almost every scenario like, okay, what are the popular actions in the SharePoint, how you can utilize that, how you can write the REST call in the SharePoint, how you can handle with the large data set, how you can handle the files, how you can uh, work with the different kind of integration. We'll talk about all of those aspects into this particular session. After that, we have a holiday from 90 to 27. Because it's an Easter holiday in the different part of the world. Apart from that, there are some festivity going on around that as well. So we are having two weekend break in between. So uh, again, it will be enough time for you to practice one to four and come back with a fresher mind uh, from class number five to eight. So class number five is all about working with the Dataverse. We'll talk about the different Dataverse concept, complex data columns, apart from that, fetch XML and some tips and tricks we are going to talk about. Apart from that, we'll talk about the file and a sync, uh, I mean, if you just want to do any kind of integration with the SharePoint, how you can do that. All of those aspects we will cover up into this particular fifth session. After that, Sixth session is all about Power Automate approvals. So approval is again like a very important aspect into the world of Power Automate. So what are the different kind of approvals? What are the limitations around that? How you can overcome those limitations? How you can utilize that into based way with the practical scenarios? We are going to uncover all those aspects in detail over here. Apart from that, we will also talk about the licensing aspect of the Power Automate that, okay, how you can design or plan your licensing, uh, what licensing will be best for your organization. Or apart from that, some advanced topic of the Power Automate as well, we will uncover into this class, which is mostly asking too many interview questions and all. So all of those concepts will be covered into this particular class number six. Okay. 
Class number 7 is all about how you can connect your Power Automate with on-premise system. Again, like most of the time we are working with the cloud data sources, but sometimes there is a need that I need to connect my file system or let's say I want to connect my on-premise SQL Server. Okay, so what is the way? Like for that we require a gateway, how you can do gateway installation, how you can set, it, set that up, uh, how you can utilize your use case in that fashion. We'll talk about all of those aspects in detail into class number 7. And at last, in class number 8, is all about the integration class, where we are going to talk about the Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, entire integration all together, how everything will work together. We'll talk about the different use cases around that. Okay. Now, the question arises in your mind that, okay, for before I enroll into this class, do I need to learn anything or do I need to have any prerequisites to be happen? So, let me tell you. Every training program that I'm uh, conducting under powerplatformtrainings.com, all are the independent program. So for Power Automate, you don't have any dependency on the other program. So you can uh, start learning that standalone. If you are learning Power Apps, there is no such dependency on the Power Automate. So every program is a different and separate. So there is no dependency on the each other. So you can just pick up the program the way you uh, wanted to proceed and just wanted to go from there. If you are from non-IT background, I would suggest that prior enrolling yourself into this particular training program, you know, just get a little bit idea about the SharePoint or Microsoft 365 suit that will at least help you to uh, learn or gain this experience into faster manner. All right. So yeah, that's all I wanted to just talk about for my overall Power Automate training program, which is starting from this Saturday, 5th April. If you want to know more information about fees and everything, the link is available in the description box. So do check it out. Or the WhatsApp number is also mentioned into the description box. You can all directly call us on our WhatsApp as well as you can call us on our cell number as well and connect from there. All right. So that's all about my Power Automate training program. Only three days to go for my new Power Automate training program. So make sure you enroll yourself before the seat's over. Thank you so much for everyone for watching this video till end and see you in the next video with some amazing content. Till that, have a great day. Goodbye.